Hi, this is Bobby Kyle from the Adams Center, and I'm here with a speaker preview today. Joining us is Yari Walker. She is a Siberian Yupik healer from the island of St. Lawrence, and she's going to be speaking to us on November the 10th about some of her indigenous healing techniques and sharing with us a little bit about our about her culture. Yari, thanks so much for being with us today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. So like like you said, I'm from St. Lawrence Island and um, I come from the Yupi culture. We do have a clan system. Our clan system comes from our father's side. So my clan is Aymaramga and my mother's clan is Kiwami. I come from a, a long line of healers and both of my parents were healers, but by the time their generation was born, uh, that was banned because of the church. And so even though my parents had it within them, they still didn't know how to practice it because they were never guided by, a, by our elders. Um, my grandmother, both of my grandmothers were also healers. Um, the first time I was given an indicator that I had spiritual gifts, I was 12 years old, when my uncle came to me and told me that if we were still practicing shamanism, that I would have been one today. But I didn't know what that meant because I didn't hear my people talk about them. And my grandmother, when I was 19 years old, I don't know what urged me to tell her that I had hot hands. Mm. And when I told her, she told me in Yupik that I should touch somebody and pray for them. But I thought, people will think I'm crazy. I'm not going to do that. So I never did that. But throughout my years, I've had experiences. I've always been an empath. I've always been had psychic gifts. But I never knew where they came from because I didn't hear people speak about them. And I actually did not talk about them because I was worried that people would think I'm crazy. Right. right. Yeah. Tell me a little bit. So when you're when you're with us on Sunday, um, we're very blessed to have you for uh, a, about an hour or so. What are you going to share with us during um, my talk? Yeah. Well, I'll be talking about my spiritual gifts, how I practice them. I'll be talking about how um, my ancestors helped me with healing how different elements help me, how different sources help me, even the weather. I'll be talking about how uh, Creator, Gyanuk, by the way, uh, we call God Gyanuk. We've always called him Gyanuk. So long before the missionaries came, we were already a praying people. We've always practiced spirituality. So um, I'll talk about how I do the work of Creator, Gyanuk, um, how I'm used as a tool. Um, I'll be talking about the different techniques that I use, and I'll, be, I'll, I'll do some demonstration there too as well. Uh, I'll be talking about my, um, I don't like to use that word, psychic gifts or medium. <laughs> I don't like those words. Uh, to me, they're What just do you prefer? Spiritual gifts. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel more comfortable with using that term, spiritual gifts. Um, I think... Uh, Honestly, I think psychics don't realize that um, their gifts, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain. It, it, it's more deeper than what they think it is. It goes far more deeper into it. They are servants. They are mm. workers. They are tools. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not comfortable with psychics. To me, the word psychics sounds... Um, selfish hmm. because they do that for money right? hmm. so it sounds selfish to me so I would rather use a helper or a, a spiritual healer versus psychic or medium yeah yeah Got it. that makes sense mm -hmm. okay so we're really excited to have Yari coming to the Adams Center and if you would like to get a little bit more of her there's two ways that you can do that uh, one is, please join us at the Adams Center on November the 10th. The Adams Center, if you're not familiar with it, is located at 6000 C Street 
in Anchorage, and our Sunday morning gathering goes from 9.30 in the morning until 10.45, and Yari will be there the entire time, and as she said, she'll probably do a demonstration or two. I've seen her work live, and it's absolutely amazing to behold. Second way that you can get a little bit more is if you click on the link down in the notes to this particular post, that will take you to a little bit more of a detailed uh, conversation about some of the work that she does and her culture, and will get you access to her website and her Facebook page as well. So hope you see, I hope I see you on November the 10th at the Adams Center at 9.30. Thanks for watching.